I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Moab, the mother of all Marugas. We have Moab, you know. It's time for the Moab. This is from uh, Kevin Bain, the mother of all Marugas. Check out this. I have three different phenotypes from the, of this pepper that Kevin Bain created. I'm going to eat them all just to test the heat and the flavor differences of the three phenotypes. Here's one of them. Super beautiful pepper, really cool, bumpy, and just very, very pretty. Um, I'm gonna eat all three, just kind of get the variation, see what's hotter, what the flavor profiles are like, if there's any major differences between the three. There's a second phenotype, and the third phenotype's got a very cool shape to it. Looks like a little ball almost, but look at that. Very, very cool looking. Now, let me tell you a little bit of uh, history about the Moab, the mother of all Marugas. By the way, go to Kevin's Best, or Bain's Best, excuse me, Bain's Best. There's a link in the description box. So you'll see his Instagram and this website. You want to see what, I, you know, I say that, that Kevin's a creator. You want to see what I'm talking about? Go to that website, take a look. Anyway, so here's what we got. Are you ready? Uh, it's a cross to a crinkle. It's a seven, I'll hold up one of them while we talk about it. Seven pot brain strain crossed with a Fatali Gourmet Jigsaw. And then it's crossed with an unknown. The taste uh, reminds him of Maruga. And that's why he calls it that, I guess. Uh, he's been trying to figure out what, it's, what it could have been for quite a while, but it doesn't really match any of the pepper profiles I'm growing. It's an amazing plant, heavy pods. Kind of excited about munching this, right? What if I should even take pictures of the inside? Nah, I'm not even gonna. How about that? I'm just gonna, I'll hold them up so you can see them, but I'm not gonna snag photos of them. We're just gonna eat these things and see what kind of heat we can, uh, and flavor we can get. Maybe we can assist Kevin. Although I don't really know what I'm talking about, really. You know, I have people that mess, it happens so routinely, if you knew, you wouldn't believe it. Where some people will send me a, a picture of a pepper and they'll say, I have no idea what this is. Can you tell me, Johnny? And I always say the same thing. I may have messaged you this. I'm, I'm an expert at eating them. I, I, you know, I, there's, there's, you know, I can't tell you what it is by looking at it. Anyway, here's the, uh, wow. Whew, smells fruity and hot. Here's the interior of the, the first one. You know what we're going to do? Just for, for grins, I'm going to cut them all open right now. We're going to compare them all side by side because that'll be the best way to get a true comparison. So, uh, what are you doing today? You got any big plans? I've got some big things going on right now. Got my fingers crossed. I'm waiting for the results of a Another attempt to get my visa from Australia. I may be able to find out today within the next two or three days. Wow, look at that. All right. Let me show you the... the, the no, one more time. I'm going to show you all three types. Phenotype 1. All right. Very pretty, huh? Here comes phenotype number 2. There's phenotype net number two, all right. And three is the least bumpy, but it's the one I think I'm most looking forward to eating. Maybe that's why, look at that. Right on the rim right here, on the upper rim of right here on this pod, there is a such a little streak of, of capsaicin oil, it's insane. You can kind of see it a little bit better there. All right. They all pretty much smell the same. But we're going to try them right here. All three of them. Thank you, Kevin Bain. You're a rock star and a beast. Thank all of you for watching. This could be hot, huh? Maruga. The mother of all Marugas. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is JC. Oh.
There's Dan. Dan Quell. I haven't seen him in a while. Perfect example of a pepper that tastes great that I would have had struggle eating five years ago. Very floral. It started off fruity. It's fruity the whole way, but it, uh, it got really floral, really floral after about halfway through chewing it. And then some bitterness picked up. Very, very nice tasting pepper. But honestly, when I first started this channel, floral flavors really were tough for me. I had a problem eating them. Floral is like flowery or perfumey or soapy. It's not really soapy, but, or perfumey. But it seems to be the way a lot of people describe it who haven't, who are attempting to describe it for the first time. All right, so uh, he was. Well, the burn, first of all, the burn's in my throat. Although there's a, there's a little bit of burn on the back of my tongue, but mostly my throat. Um, it's the end of the pot season. My tolerance is really high. I could eat like burning embers right now and tell you what it tastes like. Um, so I think this would be a proper pepper for, you know, it just would be. It's probably a eight out of 10 if you're a, a chili head. There'd be, some, <coughs> there'd be some chili heads that would call it a seven. But I would say that's an eight out of a 10. All right, so here's uh, the second pod, second phenotype. Pretty, isn't it? The flavor profile is very similar. It wasn't quite as floral. It was the exact same flavor profile, just toned down a little bit on the floral. <clears throat> I think the first of the three were, the first of the two, excuse me, that I've eaten so far were hotter. The second one wasn't quite as hot. Here's the weird thing. It's probably still an eight for most chili heads, and some would call it a seven, but still the first one was hotter. I know that's weird, but that's how it works. I actually, um, I think I might prefer the taste of the second one a little bit more, because the floral notes were toned down just a bit. The second one though, the, here's the weird thing, the second one, is burning my tongue. And that's really odd. Like the tip of my tongue. And the reason that's odd is it's the same strain of pepper, just a different phenotype of it. So all the same uh, genetic influences, they're nothing different, they're the same. So it would, the fact that it burns in a different place is kind of unusual, to me it is. I would have, because they're all the same genetic. They are. They're all the same, essentially genetically. I would have figured they would have all burned the same, but man, absolutely not. My tongue is lit up, big time. <clears throat> Pardon me. The first one was definitely hotter though, but the second one, the burn is in a different place. It's my tongue, and the first one did not affect my tongue, the front of my tongue at all. Maybe the back of my tongue a little bit. Really odd. All right, so here's the one that I think is I'm really kind of fascinated by. The round kind of. I like that. It's cool looking. All right, here we go.
All right, so I think I like the second one the best for f uh, flavor. The first one was the hottest. The third, however, was without question the juiciest. It was twice as juicy as the first two. So the burn is... Uh, Very, three different peppers. Really weird. The first one was hottest. Burned mostly my throat. A little bit on the back of my tongue. The second one tasted better. It tasted... The, all the flavor profiles are very similar, except the second one was toned down with uh, the floral notes. The third one was the same, almost the same flavor as the second one, just a little bit stronger in floral. So... But it was super juicy. And of the three, the first one was the hottest of the three. Super tasty, though. Now, they were tasty. They were tasty, and they were hot. And, and, but the first one, without doubt, the first one was the hottest of the three. Now, what are you doing today, huh? i got a busy day, a lot of stuff going on. We have started a series. If you haven't seen it, we have started a series called a, a Jalapeno Pepper Eating Tutorial for brand new chili heads. We're on day three this afternoon. Um, we'll probably eat half a jalapeno by day five. We're going to eat a whole one. So if you're somebody who maybe you just want to join in or if you've watched this and you're like, man, I've never eaten anything, but I want to. This is your clarion call here. You join me this afternoon and we'll be doing number three. Um, if you missed number one and two, they're there, obviously. After uh, the jalapeno series is over, we're going to do another one. It'll either be Serrano, it might be Banana, it might be Fresno, it might be Habanero. I'm not quite sure. But this is going to be a thing we do on the, re on the regular. So, I hope you have a great afternoon. Tell somebody you love them. In the description box, you're going to see a link for Kevin Bain. He's amazing. Check out his Instagram, but check out Bain's Best as a, a website. He has... Phew, it's like adult pepper content. His, his website is amazing. Some amazing pictures. So please check it out. Uh, right here, you're going to see my son, Johnny Scoville Jr., and the lifeboat. Up on top, you're going to see Pepperology, which is geared towards absolutely brand new people. Lots of good information in there. And uh, all the 26 hardest challenges I've ever done. Hey, thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.